twin sisters from Hammanskral outside Pretoria have come up with a groundbreaking in invention. 20-year-olds Matlochonola and Masako Mpatlele invented digital x-ray glasses that can assist medical practitioners evaluate the depth of an injury. Last year, the sisters represented the country in Turkey in the Red Bull Basement Global Final. They join us in studio to speak to us about their amazing innovation. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, ladies. Um, I'll start with you, Matlochonola. The the idea to come up with these x-ray glasses, where did it come from? Uh, so everything started uh, in 2019, while we still do metric. Uh, so we are soccer players. Okay. Uh, so during our match, one of our teammates got hurt. So we had to accompany her to our local hospital. When we got there, we waited like long hours just for her to get an x-ray scan. So while we were there, my twin and I had a chat and we decided well, we, we wish there was a portable device that can be used to do an X-ray scan on the spot. Mm -hmm. So later that year, we introduced to ESCOM Expo, which is an, a, in, an innovation competition. And then that's when we thought of the incidents and created the, the yeah. glasses. Yeah, and Masako, how easy was it or difficult was it to come up with the kind of equipment and resources you'd need to put together uh, this pair of glasses? Tell us about that process. Um, I'll say research because we didn't have that much exposure to like the resources we can use. So we were depending on like Google and our first prototype was actually welding glasses. So we wanted people to see how our, we want our idea to be like. And wh when we entered the Red Bull basement, that's when we were sponsored with everything and we were able to make this prototype. Yeah, so Matlochonola, then show us, if you can pick it up and give us a, an example of how exactly uh, this set of uh, gla X-ray glasses would work. Okay, so there's a camera and a screen inside. Mm -hmm. So the doctor will just wear the glasses and then scan the hand. After scanning the hand, the results will be shown inside. Immediately? Yes. Okay. And then everything will be recorded inside and sent to the doctor's laptop or computer. That is amazing. Yeah. And how have you been able, Masako, if you will, um, sold this concept to the medical fraternity? Uh, you guys were in Turkey, you got to engage with other innovators and other industry players. How do you sell a product like this and convince a medical practitioner that this is the next big thing uh, for you to do your jobs efficiently? Um, so we have visited some of the radiologists in Hammanskral. So we've told them about the idea. Some of them were like, ah, <laughs> this, is, this is impossible. But once we explained the material that we used and everything, that's when they all believed in our, pro in our product. And also in Turkey, we, like, there's a lot more, the, 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 there's more out there mm. in like other countries. So they were able to see the future of this project. Mm. Yeah. And what materials are you guys using in this uh, pair of glasses, Matlohonolo? Okay, so we are trying to avoid uh, radiation. Mm -hmm. So we uh, decided to use infrared and explore more into infrared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the difference? I'm not a science yeah. buff at all. <laughs> so maybe you guys can break it down nicely for myself and some of the other viewers who are like okay. me. But what is the difference between uh, infrared and you said, uh, ra what is it? Radiation. Yeah, radiation. Right. Yes, yeah, so, so radiation, um, as we all know, it's dangerous. Yeah. It has protons and yeah, all of those things. And infrared, it only uses light. Mm -hmm. So, when when infrared is is exposed to uh, any material, yeah, that's when it absorbs the whole light and everything. Mm. So it works with light, mm. unlike uh, radiation. Radiation. Mm. Yeah. Masako, you did indicate that you've been speaking to radiologists in uh, Hammanskral, for example. Yes. Uh, have you guys had any success in terms of your prototype or any product that you've created uh, subsequent to this one actually being tested out in actual um, institutional uh, um, institutions of uh, medical practice? Um, not yet. We're mm -hmm. still working on that. But at the moment, our, our prototype takes scans, but it's not clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not clear, but it does take scans, but we're working towards it. So this year, it's going to be big. It's going to be yeah, big. It's yeah. going to be big. <laughs> yeah. And what will it take to make it clear? Because you're saying that it's there, yes. but it just needs a couple of tweaks here and there. Yeah. What will it take to create those tweaks? Uh, so we need uh, other materials. Mm -hmm. So our, our our problem is that those materials are expensive. So we need like investors, uh, 
other scientists to help us explore those uh, materials because we are not in the science and technology Are you guys industry. not scientists? Or? No, no. no. Oh, wow. We are in the, the aviation, aviation industry. industry. Oh, I'm so. a flight attendant at Fly Software. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a student pilot in, in Lutzevia. Oh, wow. And then yeah. you went into this venture. So yeah. you guys are looking for investors and other scientific minds to yes. help you just make it perfect, yes. right? Yes. Um, yes. Ultimately, what would you like to see for the product? You said um, you, you are talking to medical practitioners in Haman Skral, but what is the bigger vision for um, the X-ray glasses, Masako? Um, so we're hoping to see this this device in hospitals instead of like walking into that X-ray um, the X-ray room, seeing all those big machines occupying the space. We're hoping to see like slots where this device is there and everyone can like have a turn taking scans and also maybe in like first aid kits mm. like the AED. So that's our like big end goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I mean, have you started knocking on doors? Are there institutions that yeah. you guys are speaking to already? Yeah. Yes, yes, we, we, we have. Yeah, and is it a positive feedback or? Yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. Some, you know how people are. Yeah. Yeah, but some are, are really helpful. Mm. Yeah, yeah so. and, and, and in terms of the, the building of this prototype, was it just the two of you? Um, or did you have a team that you guys put together to perhaps put it together? Okay, during the Red Bull Basement competition, we worked with two guys from Timul Home Maker Space. So those guys were the ones who helped us to build this device. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then one of the big things that I always discuss with people is access to the materials to build different things in different industries. Um, the materials you're looking to refine this particular product, are they going to be locally sourced? Are you bringing them in? Um, do you guys have a plan around that or are you still just waiting to hear from potential investors? Um, yeah, we're still waiting to hear from potential investors and also like maybe scientists who knows more about these things who maybe can come up with, um, I'll say, other ways just to manipulate this thing. Yeah. Mm, mm. Do you have any thoughts on that as well? Yes, we do. Yes, we, yes, yeah. we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, now yeah. that's a good thing. And then um, when you were in Turkey, or I'm sure you've had other engagements subsequent to that, um, at Lachanola, maybe you can share with us, um, has there been interest outside of South Africa where people are asking you questions about it at all? Yeah, uh, actually in Turkey, after our presentation, when we went through, uh, for the top three, uh, there were this, I, I think it's techy times or, yeah, what, what not, yeah. Mm. So they came to us and asked uh, for an interview and we went for different interviews in Turkey. So they were really excited about our innovation and how it works, when, when is it going to be uh, in hospital, so they were really excited. Yeah, and also I was DM'd by this other lady from the UK, so we're, having, oh, wow. we're going to do a podcast like next week, I think. That's amazing. Yeah. So I mean, the doors are really opening up yeah. for you guys. Yeah. I have to ask you, Maklohanola, first you and then we'll get to you, Masako. Okay. How do you think you're going to manage this? If it blows up the way you're dreaming that it will, mm -hmm. and it's a demand across all the public health care facilities in the country, as uh, sports doctors needed on the field or whatever it may be how are you going to manage your training to become a pilot and running this because ultimately it is a business yes so from my side um, being a pilot it's a part-time thing okay so I think I can manage both yeah I think I can manage um, both. women can multitask yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you Masako you are a flight attendant yeah. I assume that you travel quite a bit yes uh, uh, fly affair is one of the popular uh, air services yes, in the country, yes. so I assume you're quite busy. Yes, I How am. do you think you're going to manage that as well? Um, I think I'm going to stop flying <laughs> and just to focus on the project yeah. more. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to give all my energy into this project. No, I absolutely think yeah. you should, and it's absolutely worth it. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, this afternoon, ladies, and a very good luck to you all thank you, um, thank you so and much. your opportunities that are coming. And a good, uh, happy 21st birthday for tomorrow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank welcome. you so much. Thank <laughs> you very much. Uh, those are twins, Matlocho Nolo and Masako Mpatlele. Those are the inventors of digital X-ray glasses, which they hope are going to create the storm that they should be creating across healthcare facilities in South Africa, perhaps even beyond our borders to assist healthcare professionals with efficient uh, results to any ailments that patients may have.